From a circular disk of radius r and mass 9m, a small disk of radius r by 3 is removed from the disk. The moment of inertia of the remaining disk about an axis perpendicular to the plane of the disk and passing through O is. This is a very important question. It's not always the same question that is asked, but the same concept may be repeated over and over again. Sometimes a disk we are removing may be from the center, it may be from somewhere else, it may be sometimes from a sphere we are removing it. So in different manner the question will be replicated. In whichever way the question has is asked, the method remains the same. Okay. So we are supposed to find out the moment of inertia of the remaining disk after the removal of the space through the center and perpendicular to the plane. Okay, so let's see how to do this. So it is given the mass of the total disk is 9m, right? And this distance is given as 2r by 3. Therefore, total radius is r. Therefore, we can write this radius of the small disk will be r by 3, right? This is given in the question directly. Now, it is a disk. And for a disk, we know that mass is actually equal to volume into density. So volume means it is area of cross section. Here it is pi r square into the thickness. I'll take it as t into density. Okay. Or you can simply write m is proportional to r square over here. Right. Because uh, the original disk and the remote portion will have the same density and the same thickness. Right. Therefore we can write we can find out what is the mass of this remote portion. Now the mass of the remote portion I am taking as m dash. So m dash proportional to radius is r by 3 the whole square. And the original disk has a mass 9m. So 9m proportional to r square. Okay. Take the ratio. So what do you get? Here r square and r square gets cancelled out. So m dash by m will be equal to 1. Right, m dash by m will be equal to 1. Here it will be 9. I am taking this 9 over here. So 9 by 9 goes. So m dash by m is equal to 9 or m dash is equal to m. So what is the mass of the removed disk? It is m. Okay. Now, let us proceed further and solve this question. And to solve a question like this, there is a basic formula you can remember. And that is, the moment of inertia of the remaining portion is equal to the moment of inertia of the original disk minus the moment of inertia of the removed disk about the point where we need to determine the moment of inertia and in this case through the center okay so i remaining is equal to i original minus i removed i removed through where through the point where we need to determine the moment of inertia okay so what is the original moment of inertia of a disk over here? The original moment of inertia through an axis perpendicular to this plane and passing through the center is given by m r square by 2, right? So here we can write it as mass is 9m. So 9m r square by 2, okay? Minus i removed. Now again, if you are considering an axis passing through the center of this disk, we can write the moment of inertia will correspond to the moment of inertia will correspond to m r square. Here r is r by 3, so r by 3 the whole square by 2. Okay, that is the moment of inertia of the small disk about its center of mass. But we are supposed to find out the moment of inertia of this disk about the axis passing through the point O. So how do you find it out? We have an axis over here and another axis here and these two axes are parallel, right? So we have to make use of parallel axis theorem there. So making use of parallel axis theorem, here we can write the moment of inertia of the removed disk about the central axis will be equal to m, the center of mass, m r square by, from here you can write 2 into 9. Fine. 
plus what was moment what was the parallel theorem icm plus mx square so m what is the x square x is a perpendicular distance between the two axes the two parallel axes this one and this one so what is that 2r by 3 so m into 2r by 3 the whole square okay let's simplify that so upon simplification we'll be getting 9mr square by 2 minus within brackets mr square by just write it as 2 into 9 plus m 4r square by 9 okay now i can take mr square by 9 outside so this will be 9mr square or you can just take the lcm there also minus take the lcm here multiply with the 2 and divide with the 2 fine so that will be 9mr square by 18 9mr square by 18 fine and finally you will be getting the answer as i remaining is equal to 9mr square by 2 minus 9mr square by 18 so what is the final answer tell me what will be the final answer it will be this can be simplified right this can be written as 1 by 2 so that will be 8mr square by 2 and the final answer will be 4mr square clear so I, as I told you this is a very important question so wherever or from wherever the mass is removed the method to solve this question remains the same always remember i remaining is equal to i original minus i removed about the axis where we need to determine the moment of inertia okay so please remember this in case you have any doubts in this question do comment below and i'll be happy to help you out okay okay then thank you